Okay, mate, let's have a look here. Uh, ATM. Now, it, it may look like ATM uh, probably can't come back from this, but, you know, if you, if you look here at Peril, Peril did it two times in a row, and, and Peril is just a representation of, of all coins. Uh, and I know it's a shit coin, but it, it just shows you what they can actually do. Um, they, they like to put in this huge base, and uh, and after that huge base, you know, then we can break up. So it's possible, right? It is possible, and this is basing. There's no question about it. For example, if I zoom out on this now, you can see with those two bases are, you know, they're tiny in in the larger scheme of things. When when this bases again and really ramps up to the upside. You know, so so what's to say that ATM, you know, can't can't do this again, and maybe maybe it goes to one hundred and twenty dollars a coin if if something similar happens. You know, here here's the first pump, I mean second pump, and then obviously the third pump. But who's to say that this can't do the same? As you can see here, you know, it's down. Uh, well, it 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 dropped as low as eighty seven percent. This was an eighty two and an eighty eighty three or eighty four percent dip. So um. And, and what's this step just for curiosity? Uh, yeah, it's in the ballpark. You know, it's a, it's an 87% dip as well. We all know that crypto loves to, uh, well, pump and dump. They are very low liquidity coins. You can see, you know, the, the, the liquidity and the volume is, is, is bad here. And then you get the big pump and then you get you get the crash again. And this is a, it's a repeatable pattern. So what's to say that, that, that this can't go again? The likelihood is that this will go again, you know, and it, and for some reason, if this didn't hold and it, and it dropped away a bit, you know, at some point it'll go again, if you averaged into to a position here. But um, you know, to be honest, this this base, I I like this this base is not bad. Um, you definitely could easily see this get back above. You know, the this, the safe way, I mean, the safe way and. Uh, I suppose it's more risky as well, but is to buy above all the moving averages. But your gain and your return will be a lot more if you if you do catch it down here on the lows, of course. And if you if you do look at it, you know it, it looks to be. I didn't draw it very well. It looks to be rounding out. A lot of times when you round these out, you know you you, you can get that move back. Now the six month. Well, <laughs> look at look at the look at the candle. Crazy. Talk about a pump and dump. It opened and closed on the same spot, but in the middle of that, it done um, well. It done a five six x. You know, in theory, this is a buy here. You know, right now, and as long as it stays green on this six month, you know, it, it's you can buy this and hold this uh, and see where we can go. I know Bitcoin is acting a little bit weak here. Um, the problem is, yeah, that's a fifteen percent drop at this stage. If he really wanted, um, you know, he could wait and trade a new two-week candle because this is already a bullish engulfing candle, and it may need to either drop back down or consolidate because this will be resist resistance in here. You know, the top in here will be resistance. If I if I pull this back, well, you can see resistance, resistance, resistance. Uh, it broke through. It was support here. On, on the body, resistance as well, still holding it, resistance, resistance. We broke through it. Now we're coming back. It was support here. Res and well, we, we closed and broke away from it, and now it's going to be resistance again. So I I think the, the trade is probably to wait for a new two week candle and, and see if there can be continuation. Or if this drops back down, you might even get a better entry. So for me, it doesn't really make sense to FOMO into this. I mean, I, I could be wrong and it could push higher, but I, I'm just, I, I usually try and find the safe way to play it. And the safe way to play it is probably wait and trade that new two-week candle, which is in six days' time. You know, is this really going to pump straight up uh, above all of this, like, like it did here, for example? I mean, that's the risk you take by waiting uh, if you miss it. You're you're just gonna have to uh, find a new entry, or still trade a new two week. But the ideal situation here is for this to chop about, whatever, and and uh, and close in and around here, and then on, on a new two week candle, uh, look look forward to continue to the upside.
that's, in my opinion, the safe way of doing it. You can see we're into resistance here as well. But overall, you know, I, you have to think that there's probably upside in this. You know, in, in due course, it might take some time and round out and chop about and whatever. But, you know, as you've seen in peril, these can go right back up to uh, previous highs.